Hello there and welcome to My Fibromyalgia Relief and this live event on Thursday, December the 5th. I'm glad you're here. If you're here, um, this is sort of the beginning of the My Fibromyalgia Relief community. If you are, I put the question piece up on the side. Go ahead and let me know you're here. Um, and otherwise, I'll just give you an update um, and some thoughts about reactivity. Um, one of the people that I've been working with, uh, heard my presentation a couple weeks ago, said, gosh, I've been looking this, for this for so long, you know, and has really taken on using the ICE method in every part of his life. Um, then uh, I was on a, a website and, and giving a reply, I actually made a little video for a person of how to move into that calm state, and the, the reply was, Lars expects me to do this. I have all of these things going on in my life. Um, who would ever you know, just look at a point. Um, so I'll be talking a little bit more about that uh, coming up. But wanted to kind of update you. Um, just personally this week, I really started to move into the, the mode of trying to get the word out and let people know about what's available now in terms of using the ICE method for fibromyalgia, specifically for fibromyalgia. And uh, so I got on Facebook um, really to use it for the first time and joined a number of groups that are support groups for fibromyalgia. And um, I think what's remarkable, these, these groups have uh, hundreds and thousands of members and I think I joined seven different groups. And what's remarkable is just the level of pain that people are experiencing. Lack of sleep, um, joint pain, uh, all different kinds of pain um, that people are experiencing. And um, those are closed support groups. They're not places where I can go out and advertise the ICE method, <clears throat> um, can share support. But it really makes me aware of um, what a need there is for something that can offer relief for pain, both emotional and physical pain, and how this ICE method <clears throat> is able to um, bring that to people through the process of memory reconsolidation. So, um, I think experiencing uh, this week of uh, following these support groups, and I'll continue to do that, and just seeing uh, what a place there is for the My Fibromyalgia Relief community that's now forming. Um, there's there's uh, just a lot of emotion in terms of reading all of this pain that's there, um, and also a lot of emotion about the excitement of, wow, here's something that I believe can really make a difference for people. So who's going to be interested in this? You know, I told you that one person wrote back, why would I ever try looking at that one point when I have all these other things going on in my life? And this other person who said, wow, I've been looking at this for a heck of a long, I'm looking for something like this for a heck of a long time. I got that email up here and the person says, I can literally feel my circle of calm starting to grow. Is that cool or what? You know, and the person is using this not for fibromyalgia, but for everyday life situations like anxiety at work um, and all different kinds of issues, both in the present situation for uh, this person at work and also about the past of things like anxiety and panic attacks that have been with this person for many, many years. So what makes it um, engaging for a person to see the ICE method and say, wow, that's for me? Um, and I guess I really don't know the answer to that question or really any any questions, um, but my, my thoughts are this, that um, <clears throat> all of us who are born into this world are born into this world reacting to what's going on around us. In fact, that's the job of our parents, um, to teach us how to react to what's going on around us. We need to learn to react first to a letter and then to a word and then to a sentence in order to learn to speak and to write, and to read, and to communicate. We need to learn that a fork and a spoon allow us to eat. Uh, we need to learn all kinds of things in order to be able to react to this world and survive, to get food into us, and to be able to go through our days. So those are the things that you know we're learning as kids that our parents are teaching us consciously, but on the unconscious level, we're also learning all sorts of uh, techniques for surviving our uh, daily life. You know, what is it that makes our day go better? What is it that makes our day be safe versus unsafe? And a lot of those things are in our subconscious, right? Psychology talks about this all the time. And 
<clears throat> just like we have learned to react to letters um, automatically and sounds and speech automatically, we've learned, I think, to react to those um, settings that we pick up early on of what's safe and unsafe to react to those automatically. And at some point, for some of us, we reach a point where it's, wow, I'm just kind of on an autopilot here. And is there anything else I can do? Is there any other way I can be? For others of us, that autopilot is the only thing that makes sense. It's our world. So for that woman who said, I have all these other things going on, high stressors, illness, those kinds of things, completely involved in the reactivity to that, becoming non-reactive or calm, and then actually using that chemistry of calm to do something, simply doesn't register on the radar. And that's fine, I think. I mean, it's not better or worse to be reactive or non-reactive. But the reactive way is going to carry along with it the stress of whether or not I'm in a safe place in this moment of reactivity. Is it a place that I want to be and do I have to work to stay in that place? Or is it a place that I don't want to work, be and now I have to work to get in a different place? And that actually takes the energy of our cells, of our body, reacting to what's going on in the world outside and around. Some years ago, I was like, wow, is there anything else for me? And I really started on this journey of um, exploring health and healing and consciousness and just the ability to um, have an impact on my own life and have eventually come to this place of the ICE method, my fibromyalgia relief community now that I'm sharing. But along the way, really in the last year, especially in the last couple years, I've noticed that the journey for myself personally involves becoming more and more non-reactive to the things that are going on around me. Realizing that, wow, I actually don't have to have my fight or flight mechanism turned on if someone's angry at me, as long as they're not going to physically injure me. I don't have to have my fight or flight mechanism turned on if I realize, gosh, there's an overdue bill that I forgot to pay. Or if, you know, whatever the situation is, there's something going on in the family or at work or in the community, that I can <clears throat> actually have the cells in my body remain at rest as I engage whatever's going on that my body, the cells of my body, my physical being, can be non-reactive to what's going on around me. And I feel like that journey has been progressing for me. And in terms of who will the ICE method and my fibromyalgia relief make sense for, at some point in my life it became interesting to start this journey or to recognize that this journey was in place of actually becoming a little bit non-reactive and then more and more non-reactive to what's going on around me. And I don't know that I chose that time. That's a mystery to me. Like, I would love it to say, oh, here, try this, just become non-reactive, and either your pain will diminish or your emotional state will calm. And in that study I did with all those people with fibromyalgia, that was clearly the case. But then for those whose pain returned, I think that they went back into a state of reactivity, which just took a, a toll on the body. But who's to say when that time comes that this becomes interesting? Like for that person now who's using this all the time and who says, I can literally feel my circle of calm starting to grow. You know, in this commitment, because it makes sense to be using this method. So as I move forward in sharing um, my fibromyalgia relief and the ICE method with um, really as many people as it's possible for me to help, um, I'm very interested in for whom is this attractive and for whom does it seem like, why would I ever try that? That does not at all seem like anything that addresses my current situation. Um, again, I don't know the answers to these. What I've said is my speculation that somehow at some point, um, reactivity, uh, it opens up that maybe there's another possibility or it just opens up that it's really not working for me anymore. Is there anything else? Um, my hope is that the ICE method is going to be something that's so simple for people uh, to try that maybe it can give a little bit of a boost for this journey 
and maybe become a technique that can help this journey of letting our body remain in a rest state, a healthy state, rather than using its energy to be reactive to the stuff that's going on in the world around us. My sense is, my experience for myself and my sense in, in working with other people is that it actually allows us to have a greater sense of freedom. Because when I'm not reacting, which means actually that thing is controlling me because I'm reacting to it, when I become non-reactive, I actually then become free to choose, more free to choose the path and the option that I want to pursue. And when something shows up along that path that I feel reactive, then I can go and choose differently again once I've used the ICE method and become non-reactive. So these are a couple thoughts. Uh, it's going to be up here at the live event page uh, for the next 24 hours. If you have a comment or a thought, we'd love to hear it. Just use the contact form on the website. And then after that, it's going to go into the, the library where everyone who's a member will have access um, to this and all the live events um, from now on. So hope this, uh, if you get to watch it. it will be interesting for you look forward to your comments I'll be back again next Tuesday might even have a special guest I'm trying to arrange for a, a interview conversation next Tuesday and then again I think next Thursday we'll have another special guest for our live event all right thanks a lot have a wonderful day um, <clears throat> it feels right use that calm space first point observe consciousness allows us to create a different chemistry in our body second point observe that again and then the second uh, third thing that space in between when we observe a space that has nothing in the outside world then our body gets a signal that it doesn't have to spend any of its energy reacting to the things in the outside world it goes into rest mode and our, our mind now is free to choose and free to act without a strain or a stress on our body all right thanks a lot bye-bye